This is Time Warner Cable's local edition. I'm Brad Palmer. It's glad you're still with us. Our guest is Ted Liu. Ted is a member of the California State Senate, and I want to speak with you about the proposed tax initiatives. I'm following your tweets constantly, and I see that you tweet very favorably towards the governor's plan. Why are you in support of the governor's plan? Because it's really the only plan that will help balance California's budget and have the money go to schools and important things such as public safety. So let's talk about the plan. It's very specific, but it's clear. Uh, it would increase sales tax for four years by a quarter cent and increase tax on the wealthy for seven years, a sliding scale upward. That is correct. And that will generate uh, up to $9 billion a year in revenue, which we desperately need to plug the holes uh, in the budget, especially in the areas of education and public safety. But as we're just coming out of a recession, is now the time to increase taxes? Uh, absolutely not, but ah. it's the best of uh, bad choices because if we don't have this initiative and if it doesn't pass, schools are basically going to get uh, one month off of no pay. It's a very catastrophic event that's going to happen. And I also heard that the CSU system has said that for applicants this fall uh, for entry to, for, in 2013, they are going to wait list everyone literally everyone until they know what happens with the initiative. Uh, because of uh, the economic recession, we've essentially for several years cut everywhere all over California's budget, and we've cut to the bone in many of these places, including not just education, but also higher education, public safety, uh, health care, all sorts of areas. And so the governor's initiative is much more balanced, and it really addresses education, plus provides revenues for public safety. And, and I and can other tell areas. you're making a thinly veiled reference to the competing initiative by Ms. Molly Munger, and that initiative would hike income taxes on everyone um, from 0.4% to 2.2% for 12 years, sliding scale up. Uh, couldn't one argue it's a little more equitable? Everyone needs to feel the pain? No because you don't really want to harm the poorest of the poor uh, or the lower middle class, or even middle class during this time period. Mm -hmm. uh, if you make over 7800 some dollars per year, according to the ballot statement, uh, your taxes will increase, your income taxes. You make $7,800 a year. Correct. You would have an and increase in your income as tax. you get higher in that scale, if you're a lower middle class or a middle class, you're going to get an income tax increase. The governor is really primarily targets the wealthy. Um, except, Although, except for the quarter cent sales right. tax. But most of the revenues do come from the wealthy. Molly Munger's, while in your words more equitable, also completely affects everybody, including the middle class, lower middle class, and the poor. What about the notion that if you have two competing tax initiatives on the ballot, it's going to confuse voters and they both right. could go down? Uh, that is absolutely a risk, which is why you definitely need to vote no on Molly Munger's initiative and yes on the governor's. Because her initiative, in addition to really going after the poor and the middle class, it also is not written very well. It doesn't interact properly with California's current laws and regulations and propositions. So even if her initiative passes, we would still have a $5 billion hole in California's budget. What if they budget. both pass? What happens? Uh, the governors will win. Why? Because of the language in the governor's initiative that says, basically, if his passes, it trumps all other initiatives. If we look at polls over the last few weeks and months, we have seen that support is dropping. It's still over 50 percent, which is right. all you need. But what's happening? So Molly Munger, to her great discredit, in my view, is attacking the governor's initiative. And to me, that's a problem, and it's a problem we want to avoid. So my hope is that she realizes that even if hers were not to pass, that she at least would want the governor's to pass. And all the polls really show that the governor's is uh, far above 50 percent. Hers is far below 50 percent. So come November, you predict it passes? I predict that hers will definitely fail. And yours? And then the governor's, the governor's will be close. Okay. His name is Ted Lou, member of the California State Senate. For Time Warner Cable's Local Edition, I'm Brad Pomerantz.